Hello. So in this lecture, we'll be seeing about the events and alerts. So for events and alerts, go to cluster management and click on events and alerts tab. So here you can see the events and alerts. So these are the events that has recently occurred. So here you can see the event ID and time noticed when the time uh, that particular event has triggered and what a uh, group that event comes under. So I mean the short description about the event. So this sh uh, says that the snapshot daemon has failed. So it says that snapshot create failed. So it has failed to create a snapshot and this shows the snapshot name and coming down it shows the uh, the different uh, timings the same event has occurred so this will come under one particular uh, event and below that you can see the see all other events of same type and when it has reached so this is something with the snapshot named snapshot underscore duration 8 13 12 so error in the path failed no such directory error file it seems that the snapshot uh, directory has been deleted that's why the snapshot is uh, not able to um, capture a snapshot for that particular directory and it has triggered events whenever the snapshot job has been triggered and we have node pool and predictor and the license entitlement exceeded so these are all the um, events that we have and when you want to resolve an event let's say this particular event uh, has been uh, the, the issue has been resolved and you want to resolve it on the Isilon side then click on the more tab and mark as resolved and when you want to ignore it then just click on ignore these events are basically uh, categorized into information event alert sorry information event uh, the warning the critical and emergency into four categories so the information is a event that has uh, information and that has not much uh, impact to the cluster whereas the emergency and critical are the two alerts that you need to look in on a higher priority as these are something that affects the performance of the cluster so basically this is something that has a highest priority uh, of events that you need to look into it the critical and the emergency and also we have warning warning are nothing but uh, kind of uh, error that needs to be addressed but not as soon as possible but it has to be addressed so this is somewhere between the information alert and the critical and emergency alert now we'll see the alert section and how we can set the alerts and what are the alert channels that are available so here you can see uh, the alerts that are configured by default so here the connect emc is the one that is used for connecting the uh, emc uh, network to isilon so basically used by the uh, remote channel and here you can see what are the event groups that are configured so it says zero event group configured so these are all like uh, I mean the group um, the group IDs are zero but even groups are all so if you edit and check the all the group IDs are configured so that whatever alerts triggered below this even group will reach the EMC through the remote support channel and uh, same way were resolved and worsened alert so they have uh, different uh, alert channels for uh, different type of events and next comes the heartbeat heartbeat event uh, is the one that triggers on weekly basis on each node so to find out each node has um, how this each nodes are performing uh, example let's say you have node 5 I mean 5 nodes in a cluster and the heartbeat alert will trigger for each node so in this case if node 1 goes offline then the heartbeat alert for that particular node will be uh, 
down so in the sense the node will has to be taken care the heartbeat alert is used for checking the heartbeat of each node so let's say you have five node clusters and this heartbeat alert will uh, test all the nodes on weekly basis and will give a event to the uh, administrator checking the uh, heartbeat of each node if any one node is not uh, not good or it's unhealthy then that particular node will be reported through this heartbeat event coming down we have the alert channels so first we need to create an alert and bind that alert to an alert channel alert channel are nothing but through which the alert has to reach the user or the administrator we have uh, different alert channels like snmp smtp so smtp is for the uh, mail transfer protocol and snmp is for the ticketing uh, um, integration so if you uh, SNMP, if you want to uh, link to an snmp server and in, in that snmp server in turn will create an incident to your um, i mean the tool the ticketing tool like ServiceNow or the Remedy, Jira or whatever some uh, the ticketing tool that you have. So first we'll create an alert channel, I mean the alert and then link that alert to the alert channel. So I'll give the name as test alert one. So here So I will mark all the system disk events, cloud pool events, node status event, reboot events and I will leave the rest. So let's say inside this software event there are lot of IDs, I mean the group ID. So one particular software event will hold uh, close to 50 or uh, 100 number of events inside that and when you check this box all those software events will be applicable uh, for this particular alert and in case when you don't want all the software events to be uh, to uh, trigger an alert then you can leave this option and you can add the id alone so you need to find out which id you want and you need to add the ids alone here so you can add the ids alone here so to the easiest way is that you can do it in the cli that we will see and here the maximum alerts alert limit is 2 it's set to 2 and so first we will need to create a channel here for that I will give a name test SNMP so I have created SNMP so change the type to SNMP and we have the three types SNMP uh, SMTP and connect EMC connect EMC is used for connecting to the uh, EMC remote support so I'll give SNMP and you need to give the SNMP settings and SNMP server I'll give it as a random and if you want to uh, uh, remove any nodes so in this case if you want to exclude any nodes you can exclude the nodes or you can just leave it the same create the channel so once channel is created it will be visible here on the alert channel section so you want these alerts to be triggered through which channel so here you can select one or more channels available so let's say I want all these events to be generated for test SNMP channel as well as a remote support channel and if you have any other channels you can select that so you are sending this particular same alert for multiple channels and and you can also set a limit here like send an alert only if the event lasts longer than so there may be some kind of glitch happening let's say on the port side there may be some glitch happening so to <clears throat> to avoid unwanted number of alerts so you can select this option so that this uh, will wait for some more time before triggering an alert so now I'm going to create the um, alert channel create alert
so now the uh, alert is created so here you can see the test alert and through uh, which alert channel this uh, alerts goes and what are the event groups that are configured here so here you can see all those details and the same way here also you can create the alert channel and uh, in this case I will leave the uh, name as test SNTP and type it SNTP and you have to give the email ID so to which uh, particular email ID the alert has to come so here we can set up the email ID as your uh, description list so that you can reach your team and you have to configure the SNTP, uh, SMTP server settings and create the channel so once you have given all the details the alert channel will be created and you can include that particular alert channel in any of the alert that you have already and coming to the settings so here you have uh, the data retention settings so here you have 90 days of retention and maintenance period you can give the maintenance period date so let's say <clears throat> if you are going for a maintenance and you don't want any let's say you are going for an upgrade for this cluster and you don't want any kind of alerts to be triggered during the upgrade time then you can mention the date and the duration from which the uh, from which this particular um, system is going for maintenance so during that time you will not have any alerts or incidents triggered from this cluster So basically putting this cluster in a maintenance mode. That's it for this lecture. We'll see you in the next lecture.